For Alma Schultz, it was like coming home. And it's nice to be back in Brockport because that's where I lived my whole life. And I got two great grandchildren who are the joy of my life. Alma returned to her roots to be closer to family and old friends. And because of her health, she was diagnosed with Parkinson's, a diagnosis at first she didn't want to accept. You're just so overwhelmed when you first hear the word. I think it was denial. I was going to fight it, and I wasn't going to have Parkinson's. But Alma says her symptoms started to affect her daily activities. Oh, it was always the tremor in my right hand, and now it's in my left. Now I'm running out of steam. I get tired, very tired, and I can, can't walk too long a distance. And she began having trouble doing the things she loves. And I try to do two rows of knitting a, a day. My left hand has gotten paralyzed with these two fingers. So I sometimes have to put a glove on to knit. Hello. Hello. When she went looking for Very answers, good. she found them in an unexpected way. It was an ad in the paper, I think, and I called the phone number. Um, what medications are you taking? Alma now? says seeing the doctor through video visits in her home has changed her life. It's a wonderful help to me. You can just stay in and you don't have to get out. Um, they're very good. The telemedicine is very good about setting up the appointments and always making sure you've got what you need. During a recent video visit, Alma told the doctor she had trouble swallowing and eating. I just don't seem to be able to eat big meals. I, I do better if I eat just little meals and quite often. Is Doctors have told her staying active will help with her Parkinson's symptoms, so she exercises every day. She walks as much as she can, often with her sister who lives in the same apartment complex. That's one of the reasons she moved back to her hometown. It just means that you've got somebody down the street that knows you and knows what's, what's wrong with you. And it's kind of nice to have somebody nearby. Alma says her experience with telemedicine has been very positive. It's been quite an experience. They all sang happy birthday to me on my birthday this year. I had an appointment with Dr. Dorsey and they sang to me. She hopes by sharing her story, it will help others learn about the promise of telemedicine. Learn all you can about it, I, I feel, and do things like this and try to help other people with it.